there was a possibility that Fairview Developmental Center would be the recipient of potentially between 30 to 50 individuals or patients or people who had been exposed to coronavirus. This isn't just about Costa Mesa. This is about our Orange County region. And we are all united in addressing this, what we think is a public health crisis here in our community. We're here at the Emergency Operations Center because we've been activated and we're trying to track down the information necessary um, to make the proper preparations to ensure that the community has in place the different things necessary to be safe. Good evening, Mayor and Council. The item that's before you this evening is to adopt the emergency ordinance and the declaration of um, emergency, basically certifying the actions that were taken by me yesterday, adopting a local emergency for the purpose of protecting public health and safety and helping to reduce the spread of and transmission potentially of COVID-19. There's a mutuality and there's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. We're gonna give you an update on what's happening with uh, COVID-19, what resources are available for you as it relates to your health and as it relates to your housing. Hi Diana, this is Yasmin calling from the Costa Mesa Senior Center. I'm calling to let you know that we will be delivering your meal at about 10 a.m. All the meals on wheels are perfect for, for me, for us. I'm 90 years old. I've done all the cooking that I ever want to do. Costa Mesa is a good place to live. <laughs> Our goal, like others, is to flatten the curve. The governor has called on all Californians to stay at home. And remember that we need everyone to work together with cooperation and compassion. Our public safety teams remain prepared and ready to respond and provide excellent level of service that our community expects. If we stay calm, we can get through this together. Practice social distancing and please don't take part in panic buying. Please visit our website. We are updating the information and resources daily. Tenemos que tomar acción. En caso de emergencia, llame al 911. Quédese en casa si está enfermo. Hey, Costa Mesa. I'm Dane Bora, and this is an at-home edition of the Costa Mesa Minute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping keep our community safe. Shout out to you for doing the right thing and supporting Costa Mesa. And on behalf of our entire team, we want to wish you well. And together, with God's help, we will continue to be Costa Mesa strong. Costa Mesa strong. Costa Mesa strong. You have to change your, your, you're on mute. You're on mute. Ms. Barlow. We're having some technical difficulties tonight. As the mayor said, we have been experiencing technical difficulties uh, this evening due to uh, two power outages. And so please bear with us. We're here and we are um, ready to serve and to move forward with our meeting. Let me tell you a little bit about the origin of tie-dye. Uh... Together, we've been working really hard to provide a lot of these resources to the community. So here I am at the next station. Roll your window down. Hi. Can you the desk for us? Do not open it yet. Make sure your knees correct on the back. Es gratis y fácil. Le explicarán cómo debe de tomar la prueba.
y luego le pedirán que baje su mascarilla. Hi Costa Mesa, it's Brenda from Costa Mesa Fire and Rescue and today we're going to do a little cleaning. We're going to spray the product down and we're going to use a clean towel. Every 10 years, the United States Census Bureau counts every person living in the United States. This funding helps schools. You help your community. Employment opportunities. Respond to your census questionnaire today. You can even complete it online. Cada 10 años, la Oficina del Censo de los Estados Unidos cuenta cada persona que vive en la nación. Okay, so I have a whole array of places where I go. I go to Hank's for breakfast burritos in the morning, um, Taco Mesa for burritos during the day, um, Tacos Cancun for street tacos, and Avila's for chicken soup. It depends on the day. So tacos, El Toro Bravo. Tortillas, El Toro Bravo. Fajitas, Avila's, empanadas, pasta connection. What am I missing? Churros, Taco Mesa, tortas, Taco Mesa. Uh, so much good food in this city. I go to El Toro Bravo in my district, District 4, and get their tacos. They're pretty good. Para bailar la bamba. Se necesita una poca de gracia. We care for our communities and we provide food assistance and other needed resources to our most at-risk communities. And for power of one, that is our fight. Welcome to Costa Mesa's newest pocket park, Perez Park, named after Rachel Hamilton Perez. Perez Park, located in east side Costa Mesa at the corner of Santa Ana Avenue and University Drive, has been transformed into a park space for the entire community to enjoy. Amenities in Perez Park include two new play areas with rubberized surfaces, two shade structures, and security lighting throughout the park. Thank you to everyone for bringing this park into fruition. And welcome to Perez Park. We hope you'll come out and celebrate and play in this new fun space.